Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin price. Yeah, I know. I very rarely talk about just the price alone and the price action and all that good stuff, but <clears throat> I felt like I needed to make this video talking about it because, well, when we see large movements in price uh, within the crypto space, within the Bitcoin space, you know, to be specific, it's actually a sign it's actually a sign of bigger things it's a sign of other things that are going on and that's what <clears throat> that's what we're going to be discussing today because as of recording this video right now we just hit thirteen thousand six hundred dollars per bitcoin um and that's a lot because if you guys remember just a few months ago just a very few months ago around i want to say three months ago we were at 3,500 and now we have, you know, literally gone parabolic upwards and um, added, an, added like literally $10,000 to that actual price. So we went from all the way at the bottom being 3,500 just a few months ago. And everybody, you already know the deal. Bitcoin is dead. This whole crypto shit is a scam, blah, blah, blah. And before you know it, <clears throat> it started before you knew it it started moving up and up and up and literally every single day we wake up now we're, we're you know we're literally seeing like almost like a thousand dollar um price increase per day sometimes more sometimes less but that's a lot now what what is causing all this you know well we're gonna we're gonna talk about a few theories as to what i think is causing all this First of all, you guys already know that I consider Bitcoin, just Bitcoin. We're, we're going to be talking basically about Bitcoin. If I'm talking about any other project, I will specifically name it. Otherwise, we're just talking Bitcoin, okay? Now, as it comes and pertains to Bitcoin at the moment, Bitcoin, I, oh, I, I literally call it or I consider it like if it's gold or silver. Um, you guys already know what I think about Bitcoin in that sense and why I call why I think and I uh, put in the same group of gold and silver and uh, other hard assets so if you're looking if we're looking at what's going on in the world right now we're seeing a lot of turmoil we're seeing the US literally wanting to invade Iran we're seeing the economies of you know not just Venezuela art but but again Argentina and others around the world also failing failing hard all over Europe all over all over the place and um, in, in many places you know we're also seeing the price of gold jump so if um, you know you're going to the Indian markets or you're going to other Asian markets or even our own uh, domestic markets you know we're seeing a huge huge um, price increase in, in gold and silver as well now granted you know gold and silver are not going to be jumping up up in prices as as, uh, as much as bitcoin for too many reasons um that i don't want to talk too much about because again i'm not we're talking about bitcoin price here but we already know that gold and silver are heavily heavily manipulated and um because of the manipulation that is why you know um they're able to um, they're able to depress they're able to they're able to knock down the price of these assets on a regular basis because the reality is that if they did not have the ability to do that right now gold and silver would be much higher they would probably be 10 times as high as where they are right now at the very least at the very least okay so another reason why gold is I mean why Bitcoin is so awesome is because it, they don't have the ability to manipulate it at mu that much and they won't as time goes on as more people you know use this thing and by using it again even though we, even if, even if it's just purchasing it as a speculative investment or purchasing it like you would gold and silver in order to maintain your wealth for whatever the reason you're doing that um again it's just a lot harder to manipulate the price of 
Bitcoin as it is with uh, you know gold or silver. Now, I don't want to get into the whole manipulation thing because that's another story for another day. But the reality is, all right, let's see if we can cross the street here. But the reality is, you know, what we're seeing right now, what we're basically seeing right now, you know, when it comes to the price of Bitcoin, is the fact that, you know, let's just go down, let's just go down the list of all the things that are happening at the moment. So one of the first things that are happening is the fact that there's like a big ass Bitcoin conference, literally just a Bitcoin conference happening right now, I think in San Francisco. And um, today, as I'm recording this, is the second day, and tomorrow, as you're watching it, should be the last day of that conference. So again, it's a Bitcoin conference. So right there, it's a lot of uh, gonna, there's going to be a lot of uh, purchasing of Bitcoin um, throughout, you know, these these next several days, um, basically because of that conference. Now I know it might sound like a little bit too too much of an easy, I don't know, out as to you know um what what's causing the price increase but that's a reality you know we we all know that especially when we were in a bull run back in 2017 and in other times that's something that was um like a major component every time we were about to hit a conference every time that we were about to hit you know uh, in a conference or anything like that all of a sudden we would see the you know the price increase you know whether it was before the conference during it and, and even sometimes after even though sometimes after you would start seeing, you know, the price drop. Now, that's the next one. So now, as it pertains to to the conference thing, I think that what's what right now that's going to give it that's giving it a lot of validity because, you know, right before I even started recording this, I was just checking my Instagram for a minute, and I saw Edward Snowden was there, and I saw like again, there's a bunch of people that are important people within the space that are at that conference literally um you know talking about you know why we need that thing this technology to begin with which by the way before i forget i'm going to start making a bunch of videos talking about you know the beginners the big be talking about the basics the beginnings uh 101 of uh, bitcoin so bitcoin 101 you know big uh, bitcoin for beginners i'm gonna start making a bunch of little videos like that and not not to necessarily explain the, all the nitty-gritty technology but just to explain uh you know why bitcoin is necessary period in the story and explain it from layman terms explain it from uh from a from a point of view that i think you know most people are going to start realizing why we need this and the importance of bitcoin but i digress i digress <clears throat> besides the bitcoin conference we've already talked about all the economic strife that's happening around the world right now and um, again, if you just go to, first of all, let's go to Google Trends. If you go to Google Trends, all of a sudden, the <coughs> sorry about that. If you go to Google Trends, you know, and you start uh, just searching uh, the, the term Bitcoin, you know, all of a sudden you're seeing that the term of Bitcoin is becoming a very popular search term again. So therefore, since that's the case, you know we're watching you know more and more people um you know just you know curious about bitcoin searching for bitcoin wanting to know more about bitcoin because again we're seeing an uptick in the in the in the in the in the buying we're seeing an uptick in the buying of uh of gold and silver and now bitcoin and and again you know this goes back just a few months where we were just at 3500 and all of a sudden, before you freaking knew it, you know, we're, you know, we're now at 13.6 and, and climbing. I, I was jokingly saying um, in my Discord, I've been saying this for a few weeks now, that we would get to 20K by July 4th. All right, by Independence Day, we were going to get to 20K. Now, of course, you know, most of my, you know, uh, compadres out there, just kind of like laughing it off you know another one of my crazy predictions but you know as we're watching these moves as we're seeing everything that's happening around the world you know while people are you know we're seeing more and more people constantly being interested more and more every single day in uh in bitcoin it's not that far-fetched in fact my prediction for the end of the year is closer to 100k but who the hell knows anymore? Remember, there's too many, too many, 
things in question. You know, we got Mr. Trump, you know, talking, uh, you know, wanting to fucking go to war one day, not go to war the next day. Every single day is a different country. You know, whether they want to go to economic war with India or Mexico or you name the country, you name the area, you know, Iran, whatever. So with all this turmoil happening everywhere, it's just very natural for people to start getting worried, to start getting scared. And so, you know, the, the you know, the what bo- most of the time what people end up just doing is, you know, throughout history is just going to gold and silver. But because of all the manipulation happening, because of the suppression of the price, because uh, a lot of this, these assets, these hard assets are harder to find than they ever have been only because the central banks and governments around the world are literally hoarding gold and silver well because of all that that's why we've you know seen such a major uptick in in crypto and bitcoin especially and you know that major uptick really has to do with many 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 things (laughs) that major uptick has a lot to do with a lot of things because remember even though bitcoin is a hard asset it's also it's also a digital asset which is something very very brand new we're moving into a digital world the digital age and as more and more people are educating themselves and learning about what bitcoin really is well then people are also realizing the importance of bitcoin in, in the very near future and again remember bitcoin is just the stepping stone it's just the, it's really the first step it's really the first of its kind and even though i think bitcoin's going to be here for a very long time um i also do think that there's going to be a lot of other currencies and a lot of other projects out there that are also going to be around for a very long time and all of these things put together are literally changing the world right in front of our eyes and it's a beautiful thing it really is it's uh it's pretty amazing to watch all this you know develop and take place right you know right before our eyes um because as i'm watching as i'm watching the price of bitcoin just start going parabolic in the last couple days it's just making me really realize that the shit's about to hit the fan again you know the yield curve has been inverted besides the yield curve being inverted you know we have you know so much more other economic turmoil happening on an everyday uh you know basis and uh you know all these things are you know just very important things that determine the price of bitcoin remember right now what is what is determining the price of bitcoin is the u.s dollar and uh the u.s dollar is hyperinflating right in front of our eyes you know people are also speculating on the price of bitcoin you know speculating as to you know what this asset could be valued at and so on and so forth and that's what's causing you know so much you know increase in price right now and we're only going to see an even larger increase in price it's only going to continue you know as the days go on i i mean i'm not a trader i don't know anything about this shit like when it comes from the trading perspective but all i know all i know is uh you know the fact that you know we are in a bull run there's just no you know there's just no uh doubting this anymore there's just no you know let me get under the sun i mean under the shade here for a minute but you know there's no denying this any further you know we are already um pretty much in a bull market i mean no matter what even if we pull back even if we end up pulling back really really hard you know let's just say we pull back to ten thousand dollars you know all that's going to do is is create another buying opportunity for all of those out there that didn't buy at three thousand five hundred that didn't buy at five thousand that didn't buy at any other price range all of a sudden if we you know we're at you know close to 14 and we pull back all the way to 10 what do you think people are going to do you think people are going to keep selling no they're not they're going to keep buying and buying and buying and that's it you know we're already there i mean like again you can see this the, you know the obvious signs like you know gold and silver and um and other you know other things you know where people are literally you know um going out of their way to start buying property taking out money um you know trying to use a system you know as much as they can before it goes away um and who knows if this is the last year for the system and i don't think it is you know what i mean i think we're going to see a major major bump in the system we're going to see a major major um you know 
the system is going to take a major, major, major hit. Um, basically because, again, guys, um, you know, the dollar is on its way out. It's not going to die overnight. It's impossible for it to just go away overnight. But it's definitely taking a major hit. And this could be one of the last hits, meaning that, you know, we might see some sort of uh, downturn at the end of this year. Um, everything will be corrected, you know, by the time election time comes around uh, next year. And then, you know, then probably by the beginning of, of Trump's second presidency around 2020 and going forward, that's when we would really be expecting an economic crash of, you know, epic proportions. I mean, that's it. And so everyone's just getting ready right now, you know, whether it's a Litecoin happening or the Bitcoin happening or, you know, um, people realizing there's not as much gold, silver and Bitcoin to go around, the economic uh, turmoil, you know, and so many things, you know, piled one thing on top of the other. Literally, all of these things are dogpiling on top of uh, this situation. And um, it's all coming to a head. And I think that right now, you know, it's it's all about regular smart money you know just people like uh, you know you me grandma you know the every everyone out there that is just uh you know jumping on this fomo style you know fear of missing out and um and again even though you might be buying at 13k we're going to be going to 20 we're going to be going to 50 100k and, and even further this is this, this is not even getting started it hasn't even started yet you got to remember where we started we started at 3500 and um you know the Hey guys, I apologize for that. I was really interrupted by the heat, turning off the camera as usual. But just to finish my thought, the time is now, all right? Sure, it would have been great to buy it at 3,500. It would have been great to buy it at 5,000. It would have been great to buy it at eight, at 10. But you know what? At the end of the day, just buy in before it's too late. It's an investment, okay? You're going long on this, okay? It's not ever going to change. So guys, let me just finish this up real quick. I want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there. I want to give a shout out to everyone out there that's uh, always constantly sending me Digibyte or Bitcoin or cash or whatever the hell you guys send me. Love, thumbs ups. It's all appreciated. It's all love. I, I mean, I'm constantly humbled every single day. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. All I'm going to say is don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share and uh stay awesome see you in discord see you on instagram see you all over the place see you tomorrow on youtube and uh last but not least don't forget to stay awesome love you guys and uh have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day